All right. So in the last video, we took care of our progress bar. So here we have three steps that we're expecting to uh, we're expecting. We have shipping, payment, and place order. We're gonna start off with the shipping component or the the shipping step and set up our form for that. So here in the shipping page, uh, we have our progress bar right here, as you can see from the previous video. So we're gonna start our form right below it. This will be a container. We're gonna set up a border around it and we're gonna give it some breathing room for the top and bottom by giving it a padding PY and we'll do PY5 or PY4. We're gonna set up our row. And this we're gonna so we're gonna center all the uh, we're gonna center the con uh, the form by doing a justify content center and within here we're gonna set up our column a column of column MD8 we're going to set some dummy data here just to see where we're at right now. I'm going to say inside column. Go ahead and save that and see what you get. And this is how it's going to look like. All right. So far. All right. So let's go ahead and remove this here. All right. So now within this column, we're going to set up, uh, we're going to do an H6 tag, which is going to be for a header. And here we're going to say shipping details. We're going to give this a class name of font weight bold. Do a margin bottom of four to give us some breathing room from the header to the form. I'm going to just set up a form here. And let's see what we get so far. Okay. There we go. All right, next, our form. <clears throat> so our form, we're going to start off by, let's see here. We're going to start off with a div tag. Uh, we're going to do form group. Form, form, group. And we're going to do a set up a label. HTML4, and we'll say input address. We'll say address. Provide your input type of text. Do a class name of form control. And let's see here. Let's see what we get so far. Okay. That works. All right. So the next one, what we're going to do is we can go ahead and let's see. We've got the form group. Yeah. We can go ahead and copy this form group and paste it right below. This one will be for address number two. And we'll label input address two. That's also going to be text. And below, we're going to set up a placeholder. No, let's see here. No, not for the input. This is the placeholder is going to be for the input. So we're going to do placeholder. Placeholder is going to be, let's see, apartment. Apartment. We can do apartment suite. Uh, let's see, apartment suite, what else? Uh, did it do apartment suite mm, unit? I guess that works for now, and then we'll do etc. just to give them an idea of what this input field is supposed to be for. Save that and go ahead and see what we get. All right, so there's that um, apartment number. Actually, you know what? Let me do apartment number here. Apartment number. 
and do, 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 do address you know what <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the same thing for address number one uh, right here this one will just be we'll just say apartment or the address where am I saying? address there we go go ahead and save that see how that looks all right all right all right so that's good all right so next let's see what else do we need so we have the that uh the address one i was shooting then next we're gonna need city state and zip yeah so for these what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up uh we're not gonna use a form group or we're gonna use a form group but within a row because what we want is instead of the um, city state and zip showing up horizontally like one stack over the other we're going to want them side by side all right so the way we're going to do that is with bootstrap we're going to go ahead and i'll copy this and we'll use something here yeah we'll leave that for now we'll go ahead and use something called a form row and let's see and then from within this form row, what we can do is um, we'll set up individual form groups, okay? So we'll go ahead and set up three. Um, so I'm going to paste it three times. One, two, and then three. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save that just to format it. And for the first form group within the row, actually, let's go back. I saved it, and so you can get an idea, see how this looks. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. It's gonna look different. We'll, we'll make adjustments. Um, okay, so for the first one, let's see here. For the form, well, here's the address. We're gonna do, 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 let's see here. Okay, for the label, this is gonna be input state or city, 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 this will be text, we don't need a placeholder here, um, oh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to set up, <clears throat> what this row is going to do is, it, it's going to have its own 12 column grid, so for the class names, we're going to, we're going to, here, because if you, if we look here, you see uh, how these three columns are cramped up? So because we're making use of a row, so and the row is it has its own 12 column grid. So we're gonna have to create uh, add our column space or uh, make use of that column grid uh, within this form row. So the way we're gonna do that is for for a city, we're gonna give a column and D of well, let's see. Um, Let's see, six, I think we'll, yeah, we'll do six, four, and then two. We'll do six. And then for the for the state, city, state, so for the state, we're going to do column MD of four. And then remember, 12 column grid. So, so far we have six, four, and we have a remainder of two. So the, that will be for the zip. Uh, da, 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 where's right here? All right, so column empty two, and let me go make, change the names here, fix these. So okay, pay attention here. We're in the row. So for the form, first form group is the city. This one is a state. We'll say input state. And then for the third one is the zip. Okay. Zip. Go ahead and save that. See what you get. Ooh, okay. That's not what I expected. Uh, what happened there? Hmm. Interesting. Column MD6. Oh, uh, I didn't expect that. Oh, okay. Well, hmm. No. All right. Let's see. All right. We'll go ahead and resolve that in a moment. But right now, let's 
because let's see what we're gonna do is the city and the zip are gonna be text fields like like this right but the state is well we know there's gonna be a selection of states uh, many states a user can select from so instead of making this a text field for state what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a select statement or select tag so if we look here in the uh, for the input we're gonna change that from an input to a select tag select mm, form do select Form control, form control, yes, all right. Okay, and for here, let's see, get the input state. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna set up our first option tag, which is just gonna say choose dot dot and Let's see. Oh, we didn't add our column. Uh, yeah, column. Let's add that to the select tag, and that will be right over here. Wait, hold on. Get the label form group. Oh, let me see. So that's for the input. Okay, so we made use of the form control within the input. So let's make sure we did the same for these here so form control for this class name form group and perform control cities um, oh wait yeah okay so we added the column span on the form group and the and then let's go ahead and copy this here for the select tag right over here. Paste that in this one I said we're gonna add four. And then for the last one, oh, because we didn't add the column for the zip. I thought I did. Okay, well, let's go ahead and add column MD of two for this one here for the zip. Go ahead and save that and see what we get. Oh, okay. Well, close. A uh, better. We see that they're lined up side by side. But why is that select tag showing up like that? Oh, wait. Let's see here. So input text select class name form control. Hmm. Well, oh, I'm adding a. MD, yeah, this is not supposed to be here under this one. This is just for the form group. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's go ahead and save that, see how that looks now. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, better. Uh, see, zip. You don't need this placeholder for this zip. Save that. Okay, we're getting closer. So here's city, we got to stay in the zip. So we got to fix this state. So the state, which is a select tag here. Um, Let's see, it's a form group uh, da, 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 here. Okay, we have to add the class name of form control. Yeah, for the select tag as well. Go ahead and paste that, save it and see what we get. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. There we go. Much better. All right. Um, perfect. You know what? I don't even think we need this here address here. I think, you know, it's kind of redundant. For this one, for the address too, I think it's this placeholders needed because, you know, to give the idea of, uh, to let the user know that this, this serves as the purpose of giving the apartment number or whatever that number is. But this one here, we don't need to put that. So we'll go for the placeholder for address number one and delete that. Save that and go back. There we go, much better, right? Let's go ahead and collapse to see if it's responsive on the different devices. I'm gonna close this console window for DevTools. There we go, so this is how we look on 
mobile devices and if we expand you got your you got your iPad and here yeah, your desktop perfect all right so now let's go ahead and add our button here do, 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 do. all right so that would be so here we have our form row so we're gonna go right at the end of that go ahead and add our button button type submit we're gonna give this a class name of btn btn primary and call this continue because remember this is a set of steps so when they click continue the expectation is that they're gonna proceed to the payment step there you go awesome nice look at that okay so currently this is not navigating anywhere uh, okay uh, but of course we're just all we're doing right now is we're just setting up the the we're just doing the setup right we're gonna give the functionality and, and other stuff and also I want to let you know that here as you can see for the drop down select statement you uh, for the states uh, what we're gonna end up doing is uh, we're gonna add we're gonna provide the ability for the user to, to, to click on this and have a list of all the states provided so they can select the appropriate state all right but this is exactly what we want for now, and um, there we go. Uh, so I will see you in the next video.